Yeah, for decades here at uh, Central High School, this is where every school day began. Walking up these uh, front steps and 100 years later, well, this is uh, where the memories start too. Every time I enter that building, I always think like, if I could hear voices of the past, like what would they be calling out to me and saying? Or would I hear a bell ring? Or I just always think of like stepping in the same spot maybe where there is real connection with people who have come before us. Aaron Alsop, the archivist for Central Piedmont Community College, has a view of this oldest building on campus from her office window in the newest building on campus right next door, where the college is curating the 100-year history of Central High and Second Ward High, too. We didn't live this experience. This is just our way of telling the stories of others who experienced it for themselves. Allsop gives us a private peek at what may be the rarest item in her collection. So this is leather. It's wow. a leather bound or a suede bound book rather. This snips and cuts yearbook from 1911, 12 years before the old Charlotte High School relocated in 1923 to the new Central High School. Also on display is Anna Elizabeth Sutton's diploma from 1928, the second four-year class to graduate from Central High. The diploma itself hidden away for who knows how long in the home of a Sutton relative. And he's walking on campus with this big frame and came in and said, I want to donate this to you. This is still here. That Central High legacy includes decades more of these donated scrapbook memories. Lots of Charlotte and black and white reminders of what life was like for Central High graduates and their families. Most memorable may be this old hand-me-down high school cheerleading sweater. Which, I mean, it's beautifully detailed and beautifully yeah. crafted. And beautifully preserved, too. All stop showing us the sweater's woolen patches on the front and on the back. <laughs> and look closely on the sweater's collar, where you can still see this old pink tag from the dry cleaners. There I am, the cheerleader. I still have my cheerleader outfit. I could go check and see. Uh, yep, former Charlotte mayor and city council member Patsy Kinsey was a Central High cheerleader too, class of 59, 28 years after her mother also graduated from Central. My homeroom teacher, I think, was her Latin teacher wow. at Central. Wow. So it was kind of a family tradition for you, Central High School. Yeah. And I think. When I went there, the school pretty much looked the way it did when she was there. Kinsey adds that's pretty much what Central High School looks like today, after the restoration, renovation, and rededication of the old building that she and other graduates pushed for back in 2007. They even replanted a willow tree out front to replace Central High's original 1923 willow tree at the school's reunion, celebrating Central High's reopening. It was so excited exciting to be on the grounds there at Central Piedmont Community College. In fact, the old Central High building is where Central Piedmont actually started back in the early 60s. Central High was also the original campus for Charlotte College, which eventually became UNC Charlotte. I would say that uh, my, my fondest memory of all of that building, attending Central High School, was the fact that Charlotte College was in the basement of the building. That's Charlotte sports writer, author, and talk show host John Kilgo, class of 55, who went to high school and college in this old building. He was one of several Central High graduates interviewed by UNC Charlotte prior to that uh, 2007 reunion. Lots of rivalries, but uh, lots of friendships developed too. Because Former TV executive Jim Babb, class of 51, remembers those old Central football games at Memorial Stadium. Lived across the street from the school all my, most of my life. And longtime Charlotte Observer editor Jack Claiborne, Central High class of 50, says Charlotte's largest high school was also a neighborhood high school for him. We're off again to meet a few people on the back roads of America. TV Hall of Famer Charles Kuralt was voted most likely to succeed by his Central High classmates in 1951 before decades of popular on-the-road stories for CBS. 
It's Jim Beatty pouring it on. But Central High's most famous graduate was on front pages everywhere in 1961. You may be seeing track history right here and now. He still has about four yards to go. He's gonna make it. He's gonna run the first four-minute mile. It looks like he made it unofficially. 358-6. His track team buddies from high school knew him as Jimmy Bate, Central Class of 53. Now breaking an indoor world record with the whole world watching live. And now the victory lap for Jim Beatty. Let's listen to the crowd.